Hi, this is Carrie Shell from On Point Quilter. In today's video tutorial, we're going to be redrafting the Garden Maze quilt. And this is an antique quilt, and it wasn't perfectly done. And so there were some challenges in first identifying the blocks and then redrafting them in the program. Okay, to start our quilt, we're going to go ahead and draft the actual layout for the quilt. And last week I showed you the blocks, which actually gave me some indication of the layout used for the quilt as well. So I'm going to start with Work on Quilt, and I'm going to go to the Layout tab. And for this one, I'm going to make it four blocks by four blocks. And I'm going to make the size 8 inches. And the main reason I did that is, is in, in the main block, we basically have a sawtooth star. And 8 inches is a wonderful measurement to use for that. Now there also is a very large sashing for this quilt. I did some measuring and I think uh, in looking at that quilt that it actually is a 10 inch sashing. And so, um, and there also is a sash border. So check that, include sash border, and change uh, the width and the height to 10 inches. And I know it's strange for sashing to be larger than the actual border, but that is the case in this quilt. Okay, for the border, uh, looking at the layout, it was a little strange and you could tell that things sort of just got forced to fit. But if I looked at what she looked like she was planning to do, it looked like the points in border. And so um, I'm going to do some adjustments, but I'm just going to start by making it six inches because that's what it looked like when I looked at the quilt in proportion to the rest of it. and. I'm going to change the number of blocks to six. And actually, now that I look at it, it actually is points out. And I'm going to do some adjustments to this, but I'm going to do that later. So I don't have any blocks at this point, so I need to create the blocks for the quilt. So I'm going to select my Work on Block tab, and I'm going to start with the easiest one, which of course is that Sawtooth Star. So um, I'm going to uh, make it an 8 by 8 inch, set the snaps at 8 by 8, and the graph paper. And the only thing I have turned on is Snap to Grid. And I'm going to turn on the graph paper so it's easier to see where those snap settings are at. And for this one, I'm just going to draw lines at 2 and 6 inches, both horizontally and vertically. And then I'm going to draw those flying geese units. So very basic, right? And then I'm going to go ahead and color it. And once I've done that, I'm going to add it to the sketchbook. Now, for the garden maze, it appeared that the um, other side, uh, I'm going to do the cornerstones first, which is sort of that X. And so I'm going to uh, go ahead and do a block, new block, easy draw block. And when I took a look at this, I know the block is 10 by 10. But that wasn't the settings that looked like they were going to work. Instead, the settings that actually worked the best were based on a 12 by 12 grid. So um, just to make it a little bit easier to actually draw this, I'm going to change the width and the height to 12. Now it will re uh, ch it will change the size once I set that uh, in the other grid. But for this one, um, I'm going to go ahead and draw lines at the 2 inch, uh, basically, graph paper cells. And I'm going to do those um, uh, both the one direction and the other. So 
you know, it's basically the two and the 10 inch marks that um, everything is connecting to. And so, you know, pretty basic, but I want to get rid of this line across the center. And my easiest way to do that is to go to the color tab, go back to the easy draw tab, use the pick tool, and you can use the cut, but I find it actually easier to use the delete key on my keyboard. One of the things I've discovered is, is cut will sometimes still stay when I go to the color tab, where the delete key seems to actually delete the items. So anyway, now I've got the bar. This will be very easy to foundation piece. And I'm going to go ahead and color this and add it to my sketchbook. Now for the next block, remember that my start and my stop points for the X are at that 2 and the 10 inch. And I need to uh, create sashing that basically matches this. So I'm going to keep everything the same, but do a block, new block, easy draw block. And I am just going to draw lines at 2 and 10 inches and I am ready to color. And I'll add that to the sketchbook. Now for the last block, it is a combination of the Sawtooth Star and the X block. And so what I decided was is I'm going to view my sketchbook. I'm going to find my corner and select Edit. And I need to create the Sawtooth Star. Now the first thing is, is I want to though create a star that is the same size as the other stars. And so since this is going to be set in a 10 inch space, I'm going to go ahead and change my width and my height to 10 inches. And we know that for the Sawtooth Star we're using an inch grid. So I am going to uh, set my snaps to 10 by 10 and my graph paper as well. Now I know that not all of these are exactly matching, but I'm not going to worry about that because I'm trying to basically merge these two blocks. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and use my line tool and draw my um, 8 inch star, um, sawtooth star, right? And it's the same that I did before. And now that I've done this, I have to figure out what I'm going to do with that long diagonal line. And what I realized is, is that if I bring it in, then everything stays proportionate, although my, um, my cross is a little bit wider than it was before, right? So I'm going to go ahead and use my line tool and draw that at the 8 inch. Then the sizing of this is good, but this is not exactly proportional. So anyway, I'm going to go to the color tab and I'm going to go ahead and recolor this. And I can add that to my sketchbook. Now I'm ready to go ahead and drop these in my quilt. So I'm going to go ahead and select Work on Quilt. I am going to go to Layer 1. I'm going to start with my Sawtooth Star and I'm going to find those main blocks, use the Control key, and select those in the block. Then I'm going to take my sashing and again with the Control or the Command key, and I'm going to select that and put those in the sashing spaces. Now I do need to rotate, so I'm going to use the rotate block to put it in the other space. Then I'm going to use the set block. I'm going to take my um, X block and I am going to use the control key and put it in the other spaces. Now I know that I don't have the right corners, so I'm going to take the corner block and I'm going to set that in the four corners and go ahead and use my rotate block to clean that up. One final fix. Let me go ahead and select the rotate block 
and let me correct all of my sashing uh, with the com control or command key uh, so that it is going the right direction. Next week, I plan to cover some of the issues with the border and some suggestions to uh, use the fabric and use some of the directional setting of the fabric in the quilt. Thanks so much for watching. For additional tips and techniques, please subscribe to my weekly newsletter at www.onpointquilter.com.